All right, guys, today we got an HP ZBook 15 G3. Um, this will basically work on most laptop computers, but the LCD is damaged, you can tell. Um, so I ordered a replacement LCD screen. And we're going to put this one on this one and see how it works. So the first thing you want to do is you want to remove this plastic frame. And it's pretty much the same on most computers. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to want to get under this bezel. And sometimes you got to use a pry tool. Sometimes maybe a thin knife, a thin screwdriver or something. Because you're not going to damage the LCD. It's already busted. But once you get it going, these clips, they kind of just come up. And you can hear them. They're pretty loud when you're taking this off. But just take it off slowly. Don't pull anything off too fast. You don't want to break any of the clips. Uh, but once you have that off... We're going to go ahead and lay it to the side, but I mean, it's just a real thin piece of plastic. At first, it might sound kind of hard, but just keep prying on it and it will come up. I just have a real small Phillips screwdriver. It's about a 1.5. Um, you can do this with a small flat head um, or a small knife or something you have that you could use to, you know, get in these little holes. But there's four Phillips screws. Um, two at the top and two at the bottom that you're going to need to remove to get the LCD free. And once again, you can do this on most laptops. They're all very same. The only thing that will be different is the connection, which I'm going to fold this down and you're going to see what the connection looks like on this one. On a lot of other computers, it's a little bit different, but for the most part, they're all the same. We're going to fold this piece of tape back that covers it. And all it does is really just help it kind of hold it in place. And I'm not really too close up on this, but there's a little bitty flap and then you just pull it out. It's real simple to pull out. And um, that's basically it. And you put that LCD to the side and you get your new one that you ordered. Um, I'll leave a link in the description where I got this one from. Um, I have got bad ones before. So if you do get one that doesn't work right away, try reconnecting it. And if that's not the case, you can always um, see if maybe they just sent you a bad screen. But we're going to go ahead and connect it the same way. Um, sometimes it takes a couple times just to fit in there right. But it's like a little Lego piece that goes in there one way and one way only. Once you snap it in, you'll hear it snap. And then you just put that little frame piece down and it connects it. And we're going to go ahead and put this tape back over it just to hold it in place. Um, if the tape is loose, you're more than welcome to put like electric tape on there to help hold it down. Um, but something to give it just a little bit extra. And you're basically going to do everything we just did just in reverse order. Um, like I said, this is very, you're going to do this on most laptops. The only thing will be different is, um, you know, just the connections. Um, I basically turned it on to make sure that the LCD wasn't damaged. Um, because during shipping, doesn't matter if it's FedEx, UPS, whatever. I mean, they're rough on your screen sometimes. So just make sure that's all I was doing. I was powering on to make sure it was, uh, working okay. And it looked like everything was good. So I went ahead and put all four screws back in. And now I am laying the, uh, plastic frame back on here. And when you're pushing this down, you, you want to hear the snaps. But you're going to want to be a little bit more careful because that new LCD screen is on. And for the most part, these snaps are at the very top. Just make sure when you're applying pressure, you're applying pressure up at the very corners and the top, not directly on the LCD. You don't want to get this far and damage the LCD. So just take your time. Be slow. Um, you can go back over. If you just look at the top, you'll be able to see there's a little bitty gap here or there. And you'll be able to notice where it's at and you can push that down and um, sometimes you got to put a little bit more pressure in certain spots but just be patient with it and take your time like i said it's very very similar on a whole bunch of different laptops this is not just for the hp zbook 15 um, i've replaced a whole bunch and they're all basically the same way um, you just want to make sure that you don't put too much pressure on the lcd and if you do have an issue, you want to make sure that, you know, it might not have been something you did at all. It could be a bad screen that they sent you. So don't get frustrated if it doesn't turn on right away. Make sure you have power to it as well. We're going to go ahead and turn this on. It's kind of hard to see from this angle. <clears throat> but 
but I do see the time right there on the left. And I will flip it up for just a second so you can see a little bit better um, of the screen. Um, should do it here in just a second. But that way you get a little better idea of um, that it is working and everything's good. There we go. It's popping on. Kind of move the mouse around a little bit just to double check it. Like I said, I can see the login page. But other than that, guys, that's it. If you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, um, let me know. If you can do something different that helps you or if this video helped you in any way. Thanks. Bye. And last but definitely not least, make sure when you are ordering your screen, you do look on the back of your laptop and make sure you get like this one was a HP ZBook 15 G3. They have a HP ZBook 17, a 21, and that's the screen size. So you want to make sure you get the exact one that you're looking for because you can order an HP ZBook G3 and get a 17 inch screen for a 15 inch and it's not going to work. So when you are ordering these screens off of eBay, Amazon, wherever you want to order them, make sure that you are getting the model number right on. That's the most important thing I can tell you. That'll make your life a lot easier. Make sure that when you are buying these from certain people that you've read the reviews and are confident that the screen you're buying is worth it. Uh, like I said, once again, thank you for watching very much. Uh, if there's anything that helped you, please let me know. If there's anything that I missed, um, that you would like to know more about or something maybe you do different, let me know too. Um, but this is how I do it. Um, but thank you all for watching.